and I'm nowhere near done mining it out. I mean, you can't even see the end. Ordinarily, I'd say this is a pretty good place to come into a cave, but we know that ravine is literally right here. So we gotta make a decision. Hi everybody. My, it's been some time since we last got together to play a bit of Minecraft. I just want to make sure that my screen capture software is recording. Yes, we are good to go. So, as you may recall, we left off in a small little room that I dug underneath a uh, an outpost that I constructed. And since that video, I've done some work here. I built this bedroom so I can sleep. And up these stairs is the room and I've expanded it a little bit. I refer to this as the Hook River Mining Outpost. And down below you can see my name. And I call it the Hook River because the river kind of goes straight and then hooks around a bend. And I built the outpost right where it starts to hook. Not a very original name, I guess, but... Now, in the last video, you might recall looking down into this... It was just a monstrous cave. Now, since that video, I have cleared all of this. And up here is the cabin, or rather the outpost. And I put this um, bit of dirt here because there was a wandering trader who was seeking some shelter. See out there, you can see the hook in the river. Now I don't want the wandering trader to come downstairs. So I'll put the dirt back. And I've done a fair bit of mining here also. Quite a bit of coal and iron, copper, gold, some diamonds, redstone, lapis lazuli, and I found even more amethyst here. Some bit odds and ends in this chest. And I think these two are empty. Yeah. So this, this is a pretty good sign of how much I've mined here. Let's go down to the mine and I'll show you what I have going on. This is probably the biggest mine I have ever built. 
anywhere in my world. And I'm nowhere near done mining it out. I mean, you can't even see the end. Now, none of these shafts are mined. I haven't actually started any serious mining. Most of what I had mined came while I was mining this shaft. And we'll just take a run to the end, just so you can see how far the shaft goes. And I only stopped the shaft because I ran into a, one of those new big caves at the end. I'll take a screenshot here. I don't think I've ever taken a running screenshot. Now there's no way for monsters to spawn in here. So I'm not worried about watching where I'm going. Now there's the end, right there. Here's some amethyst. So yeah, this goes on for quite a ways, and if we mine out this block, you can see the, uh, the cave back there. And back over here, I think, maybe. Let's just take a look. Yeah, there's another cave right down there. Maybe we'll get a better view of it here. Let's see. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, there. There it is, right there. So there's lots of work to be done here in the future. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. And because this is all newly generated terrain. It contains a lot of ores that I don't have back at my compound. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to get mined out before I leave. I'll probably do this side first and this side. Maybe I should make a minecart track so that I don't have to walk so far. But we're not going to be doing any mining down here in this video. I just think it would be uh, kind of boring. It might be pretty relaxing, but there are other avenues for us to explore. The 
first thing I want to do is I want to get some some glass. Now let's go down here. Now this is the cave that we peered into in the last video. We were we were standing up at the top looking down. And there was a skeleton and a creeper down here. Now I've since cleared this cave. And the way I did that was I made vantage points so that I could see what was lurking in the cave. So there's one of them. There was another one there. And down here, this one has a slab so that I could battle whatever was inside the cave. Same thing down here. I since put some windows. And up here I was able to shoot with a bow and arrow. And there was one more here. So needless to say, I got everything cleared out. And I kind of mined the cave. I made it look a little bit more inviting. And it goes that way and kind of down through there, but we don't really need to go that way. Now that's just a dead end. I haven't done anything with that. Down this staircase. Is another cave system. I've had many battles to make this place mine. And I drove most of the monsters out. But there's still some unexplored caverns down here. Now the other day I was here, there were like six creepers in the depths of this cave. I don't know if they're still there, but I was not very keen on finding out. There's another section. So I have to contend with that. But down here, is another And I've cleared out a portion of this. And I did that by the usual building along the wall, placing pieces of glass. Now I ran out of glass right here. So I'm going to put some right here. I put some torches in this cavern, but I haven't explored it yet. 
see some iron up there I'd like to get. So we're going to go take off this way. Really should have brought a door with me. I don't have one. So we're going to have to improvise. What was that? Is that water? No. So I'm going to put a block, or you know what? I'm not. I'm going to put a wall right there. So nothing can get by that. should be far enough. There's the cave. Now what are we working with here? This could be bad. This looks like it might open up into something, yeah. Wow. Is that a ravine down there? I want to put a piece of glass right, whoops, not right there. But right there. No, it's just a just a cave. But it goes a ways down there. So let's kind of build along the wall and see what we see. Here's the cave. Put a torch right there. Now I know I'm wearing full diamond armor, but this is the way I've gone about playing this game. I am very cautious, and it's done well to keep me alive for many years. I don't like dying in this game. I think it's counterproductive. So this enables us to get a good, clear look at what we're facing. You can see how that kind of looks like that. That right there might be the safest place to come in. But I don't have a door. So like I said, we may need to improvise. Here's some coal. I like mining coal. Oh, and this is a fortune pickaxe. So it'll give me quite a bit. And more iron. Look at 
that. This is proving to be a uh, pretty good place to mine. Decided. Where's the cave? Right there. Okay. Perfect. Put our windows down right here. And we'll light this up as we go. Where does this go? Oh boy. I think we just found ourselves a ravine. Yes indeed. But I want to keep the um, double wide path going. So we'll get rid of that. Definitely a ravine there. And it goes straight through there. Maybe even further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two blocks right there. And I'm going to mine this out. Put some glass here. Yeah, that goes quite a ways that way. That looks like the tail end. And I see light over there. Maybe from a torch. What are we going to run into if we keep going this way? This could always be worse. At least we're finding resources. Coal is one of those essential resources that we need. We use it in everything from cooking to smelting to making torches to light our homes, keep them safe from monsters. So yes, coal is very, very valuable. 
You can get by without diamonds in this game, but you don't last very long without coal. So there's a cave back behind the lava. Ordinarily, I'd say this is a pretty good place to come into a cave, but we know that ravine is literally right here. So we got to make a decision. And I don't have any doors. That's the... Why did I come down here without doors? Let's go... Let's take off in this direction. Go to about here. And start mining up. should be sufficient. So now let's... Oh, there's more coal. We are on a roll as far as coal is concerned. So I'm a pretty happy camper at this point in time. If we go down here, we should mine right into that ravine. Put glass there and there. Mine that out. See where the floor is. We're pretty high up. So let's go this way. Here's the end, right here. So that's all right. It's kind of tough to see what's up there. There is some coal I'd like to get. Oh no, we just lost that piece. Let's come out here with the glass. Put a block there.
Okay, so now we have a bit better of an idea of the layout. So I think we take off straight this way. And we'll mine right into it. need to be careful. Yep. Here we go. Get rid of that. Now what do we see? So yeah, this is a lot bigger than it looks. And we just ran out of glass. up there, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any. So yeah, that's a pretty high ceiling. I do see some coal and iron in that wall. And up there as well. I'm just not sure if the risk is worth the reward in this case. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the spyglass. We can look down there and see what's going on. I don't see anything down there except a bat. Quite tough to tell. Let's get rid of this. And this. I thought I had something with silk touch, I guess not. Yeah, that ravine goes way back that way. We don't have to worry about anything down there, so we can take the wall back. At least we know what is down there now. That iron. It's kind of in a tricky spot. But I don't reckon anything's going to come from this side. Oh, there's more iron up there. 
you know what, let's come up here and kind of make a make a wall right here. Nothing can cross that wall. Nothing can get over that wall. But just to ensure that, I'm going to kind of reinforce it a little. doesn't come through there. That fixes that. there. Now that we've cleared this out, let's make it look a little bit more presentable. this side first. much better. There's the wall right there. Okay. So we've explored down there. don't really have that many torches. Let's head upstairs and make some. Have plenty of coal. Let's smelt. this iron ore, or rather this raw iron. Deposit the slag.
my stick. Oh, there's some torches. I'll take these planks. Make some sticks. Make some oops. Torches. That should set us up nicely. I need some doors, so we'll take some wood, make some planks. like more sand, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Put the panes of glass right here for now. Okay. So back down the ladder we go. keen on exploring a ravine, but I'm game to explore some caves. I know there were some creepers hanging around here. So, we'll see what happens. So we will pick back up here in the next video. And we will clear these caves. So until next time, thanks for watching. Happy trails.